screen replacement for iMac A1418 always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord it's very important so that the power supply is not live the tools we're going to need are plastic and metallic prying tools tweezers a blow dryer and M3 double sided tape begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac uh, it's glued on so go ahead and heat it up for about four or five minutes to make sure it's nice and soft and then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen so go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first um, go with, uh, ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal when the glue is warm it should be able to come apart pretty easily then you can wedge, wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going once the separation is started you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections let's take a closer look here uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that with those two connections uh, unhooked we can go ahead and lower the screen but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double sided glue that they have so go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart uh, we're just using a metallic prime tool here uh, once you got that separated you can just pull it right out we'll need to remove this tape here Uh, we'll be putting double sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit. Screen installation for iMac A1418. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it. Make sure there's no gap the double sided tape all the way around the entire contour especially all the places where we removed the previous double sided tape from the factory now sometimes you want to double stack that you want to put two rows on you put one row on and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know uh, material and then on top of that make another layer if you want to be extra careful Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections. The LVDS or the screen cable that we're in the display, whichever model you have first. This is the data for the display. Go ahead and put that in. Sorry about the blurriness here, but you get the concept. Make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed. Now for the power, you go ahead and click that in. Also again, sorry for the bl blurriness. Now go ahead and clamp it up. And that's it. Apply generous pressure, making sure you get a nice good seal.